Music can be regarded as one of the most important aspects of American culture. It's interesting to note that our music was overwhelmingly dominated in its formative stages not by Europe, but by Africa. From Africa we got solid tempo, arranged in four bar patterns. Our generation has never danced to anything that didn't have solid tempo in 4-4 four, four time. Somewhere inside me is a calling. Something tells me that rhythm is important to life in general and to me in particular. This journey begins with the coastal tribes of East Africa, and I have all kinds of sophisticated paraphernalia. I am equipped with a digital sound sampling device with which I can capture segments of music for detailed analysis. I have no idea that they will capture me. techniques have been fruitful. As I sleep, it occurs to me that in life as in rhythm, and you can jump on it.
day like this, what a man could really use is a blonde. Hi. What is Masai, Serengeti. Mm, I'm not going that far, but I can take you to Samburo. Would that be all right? That would be fine. Hop in. Exactly, I'm a rhythmatist. What? Rhythmatist. Rhythmatism is the study of the patterns that weave the fabric of life. These cars run on a rhythm of explosions. Your heart is your metronome. Sounds fascinating. Now that's wildlife. Yeah. <laughs> In the dry dust wind, there's a friendly sound. It's the tinkle of bells. It's a musical sound. The Samburu live in the fourth world. In their own way, they're a wealthy and proud tribe for whom appearances are important. As I shave amongst them, I speculate on the effects of several years severe drought on the cattle that sustain these people. They eat little else and drink nothing but the blood and milk of their bovine friends. And they always look this beautiful. Nanuki is over there. Nanuki? French Nanuki. I got it from the women. They tell me it's right over there. Well, so let's go. Hang on a second. Maybe we should. What is that? Between the ages of about 16 to about 21, the young Samburu men are relieved of all pastoral and communal duties. They spend their college years as Moran, the official warriors of the tribe. As they dance, they celebrate their lofty position as the superior predators on the Kenya plain who can rise above the tallest grass. I finished my stuff. If you're ready, we can go. Oh, I was just starting to have fun. What are they selling you half their village? <laughs> well, I'll try. You're trying to buy half their village. I am. We've been on the road for a while now. My companion and I have become close. This is a very cool Can you pass 
transform your music with your computer, is that right? Yeah. You see, all the samples of music I record are stored separately on different memory banks. And then I put them all back together again in a slightly altered pattern. So you're collecting sound across Africa? Samples. Samples. Out there in the prairie, there's a place. I think it's her place. There's a theory in a book by a doctor of rhythm. He says fear is a factor. Aggression and fear inspire the secretion of adrenaline. African magic, voodoo, and witchcraft are dominated by rhythm and fear. Communal application of rhythm inspires superhuman power. I've known this power. An internally produced stimulant magnifies muscular ability, but can impair concentration. Application of rhythm, however, inhibits panic. Let's go for a drive. This place is alive with game. Come on. 